Hey yo, what's going on YouTube? It's your boy the lobby and we're back with uh, another video tutorial guys. Today, um, I'm gonna show you guys a brand new mod that just came out for CarX. It was released today. Uh, it's called ZML Mod Menu. It's basically a menu um, that works similar to uh, Kino and NVA mod menus. So yeah, let's dive into it. I'm gonna show you guys. Let's go. So guys, as always, the first thing you're gonna wanna do is go in our Discord. You guys are gonna find the link in the description. As always, you know already. So um, you join, you go down to CarX General Chat, and here you gonna find in Pinned Messages the new ZML mod menu. Okay. So the first thing you're gonna wanna do is just click on download. Let's see if you want if you want to download that. Okay, ZML. We're gonna download also um, the new the new mods for uh, the ZML menu. Uh, here we got. For now, we only got the graphic mod and the addition checker. But yeah, let's uh, let's proceed. Download these tools as well. And once we have done that, guys, we're gonna have to go in our um, download folder. Where are we gonna find the files that we just downloaded? And once you're here, guys, we're gonna have now to locate our in game folder, which is normally okay. Let me put it like this so you can see, which is normally in program x86, uh, Steam, Steam apps, uh, common. And this is the folder we have to open CarX Drift Racing Online. All right, guys, before we proceed, I recommend you guys to do um, a backup of your, um, you know, if you had installed already uh, other mods, I will do a backup just in case you want to go back. So um, what you're going to want, what you're going to want to um, copy is just the Bapinex and this file over here, the win HTTP. All right. So this is going to be your backup and just skip it somewhere. But yeah, once we're ready to go, guys, what we have to do is... Oh, I forgot to mention, you need to have uh, 7-zip or WinRAR to extract the files, okay? As always, uh, you need that. So the first thing we're going to do is cl right-click on ZML and do the 7... Uh, we do the extract here. And bam, you're going to have this files over here. All right, guys, if you have already the Bapinex, so if you have already a Kino mod or map loader, the previous mods basically, uh, you will not have to copy the Bapinex, all right? So in our case, we're not gonna copy the Bapinex, we're just gonna keep, um, we're just gonna copy these three files over here, okay? And we're just gonna drag and drop, and it's gonna ask to replace, you click, you click on and you replace the files, okay? And if you instead, um, if you instead, let's say you don't have the Bapinex folder, what you're gonna wanna do is copy all the files, um, you know, with the, the Bapinex included. Once you have done that, guys, the ZML mod menu is finally installed. What you wanna do now is install the action mods for uh, the ZML menu. What you gotta do, guys, is um, go in the ZML folder, you open it and here you click on mods and you open mods as well. Now we're going to go on the mods that we downloaded previously from um, from the Discord server. The first one is the JGM one. All right, do not confuse you guys. I will delete this ZML since we installed this already. So we have the JGM. We do the same thing, extract here and we extract the files. OK, which are these two ones we drag and drop into the mods folder, okay? Once we've done that, this is the Gene Graphics mod installed and it's ready, okay? Now we proceed with the last one, which is the addition checker. What we're gonna do here is just, uh, bam, put it into the mods and that's pretty much it, guys. That's how it works. Uh, all the mods, you will have just to put them in this mods uh, folder over here. And now let's check if the mods works. Let's start the game. Okay, guys, if while you're starting a game up in the left corner, you will see welcome to ZML. It means that you successfully installed the mod. Okay, 
once you reload the first time it's gonna tell you that some mods are not working which is these are all my previous mods guys all the mods i had with uh you know i've, I've made the video tutorials so you know so yes some of the mods will some of the old mods will not work in this um with this new mod menu so that's why i told you to uh do the backup so you know in case you just want to go back but now what we're going to do guys is just start a lobby and test the menu okay guys once we're in the game the only thing we gotta we gotta do is press f8 on our keyboard and it's gonna open up the zml manager which is the our no, new mod menu um and here we're gonna find uh the mods that we installed so the Digion checker and the genius graphic mod which we can change all the colors and everything we want Okay guys, now the mod is installed, it's working and everything. But let's say that you do not like the new mod because, you know, uh, with that installed, as I said, some other mods are not working anymore. So let's say you want to go back to um, what it was before. Uh, if you did what I've told you, uh, guys, you have done um, a backup folder, okay? Which in, in my case is this one over here. What you're going to do is just uh, go back in your CarX uh, uh, Drift Racing Online uh, folder where we actually put the mods before. And what we're going to do is just uh, um, remove, like delete the ZML and ZML config. All right. Just these two folders. Um, I mean, this file and this folder. You just delete this and you drag and drop the win HTTP DLL and you replace the file. And by doing so, guys, the game will be back to normal and you will have everything back. That's pretty much it. Uh, this is the new ZML mod menu. And uh, hopefully you guys did enjoy the video. And if you did, guys, don't forget to drop a like in the comment, which always helps. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. And yeah. Thank you so much for watching guys and if you still didn't check out the merch guys we also have the merch the link is going to be in the description for that as well and um i'm gonna see you guys every day on my stream on twitch i love you all take it easy fam peace and i'm out Burger says,